Hello everybody, I'm going to do this video on YouTube because uh, I had to wait for permission because I've been um, talking to one of my uh, subscribers and uh, he's had a recent loss of someone he cared very, very deeply about and they had a uh, long and complex history, the two of them. So we've been talking a little bit about going through the difficulties that inevitably you're going to go through whenever you have someone that you love dearly has passed away. Now he's moving very very quickly and becoming more and more awakened very very quickly but that has caused some issues because when we first started talking of course we went into that she's not dead, uh, she's transitioned into a different form, that she was right there with them and she's very chatty very very chatty so usually I'm talking to him with her talking in my ear at the same time um, sharing her opinion and things that she wants him to know so it gets there at the beginning it got um, very interesting very fast and we got some new information about her life and what she had created and kind of what he agreed to so to speak well absolutely speak right so as it continued on and we went further and deeper into it uh you know i realized we realized that his spiritual self the entity that inhabits this human body does death quite well it totally remembers and completely comprehends and believes that this is not the end of everything at all that there is life after death and he remembers all of that and he's very very good at that but he was still struggling. He was still struggling a lot. So we had another conversation. And basically what we found out is, uh, I think I've talked to you guys about this part before, that the human body misses the human touch of his loved one, of hearing her voice, of, of just going to dinner with her, of those activities that they shared. Because <clears throat> they had a very, very complex uh, relationship they were he was pretty much well him and her they were pretty much when they were together they were absolutely together and most of the time was spent for his physical body most of the time was spent with her physical body so he didn't have a bunch of other physical body beings that he hung out with so when she left this physical body did not have any uh, interaction much with with other beings, and certainly not on an intimate level to any to speak of. Um, his parents are somewhat, well, they're not extremely demonstrative, and pretty much all of everybody else had gone to the wayside due to the relationship he had with his loved one. So the physical body basically went from having her to nothing, to nothing, and the physical body was struggling, struggling a lot. Now, both aspects of, of the entity, both the non-physical and the physical aspect of body, the consciousness that's in the body, they both are exceptionally wonderful, wonderful beings. Very kind, very considerate, very loving, okay? But there was, a, there, I kept getting a vibration of guilt, of guilt. Kept coming back, guilt, guilt, guilt. So I'm talking to him and I'm saying, well, why? Why do you feel guilty? Why are you feeling guilty? And he said, I'm not feeling guilty anymore. Because we, he brought up the guilt thing way early uh, as we started our, our sessions. And we talked it through and went past it. But I could still feel the energy of guilt. Right? So I'm going through. And reading the vibrations that he's emanating. And I just keep coming back to guilt. So we continue to talk and talk, and that's how I can find out things, is to continue to talk. And basically, long story short, is his entity self, his, let's call it, spirit self, was less and less amnesiac every single day. I mean, just blowing by everyone else as far as speed of remembering who we really are. He was just doing that beautifully well. 
But unfortunately, what was happening is that left the physical body with not enough time to mourn at all. And it, if it insists, so it would just allow. It would allow his spiritual self to take them past the, the, gray, the, the sadness and the loss and all of that. He'd let the spirit energy just drag them along even though the physical body wasn't anywhere close to being ready. So the spiritual body didn't want to hear about crying or sadness or that she's gone and she's gone for good. You'll never see her again, all of that sort of thing, right? The, uh, the physical body didn't want to hear any of that, right? Wanted to, okay, she's not dead. This is a transition. She's right here. It's no big deal. Move on. Except the physical body doesn't feel all of that stuff. The physical body is not getting better in its amnesia. It is just kind of settling into a place in the physical, within the amnesia, so to speak. Right? So I explained to him that, you know, these two sides of himself were not communicating with one another, that they weren't explaining their side very well to each other and that we needed to work on that a little bit. So we spent quite a bit of time with me translating to the spiritual body what the physical body was feeling and what it was missing and why it was sad and then I explained to the physical body what the spiritual body's um, concepts were, beliefs were and where it was going from here. So in other words, we approached what was important to that entity. The spiritual being, we dealt with spiritual issues. With the body being, we dealt with physical issues. Now the way that you get around this, and immediately, very, very quickly, he, uh, yeah, pretty much immediately, he, he immediately got what I was trying to show him and started to correct almost with that next sentence, so that he would be, because I, like I said, beautifully kind, loving man. So the second he found out that his, in his desire to become enlightened, he was causing great, great pain and anguish to his body self, he immediately pulled back and started to correct that. Yeah, absolutely was stupendous. It was absolutely stupendous. So what I want you to know on this is that you have a bunch of different aspects of you. Your work self, your son and daughter self, your mother father's self. All of these different roles that you're playing all have belief systems set they're setting within a certain belief system or really thousands and thousands of them. So you have to take these into consideration whenever you're interacting with yourself. So in that, um, in that transition that you are, for those of you who want to become more enlightened, when you do that transition, you need to be aware of all these different aspects of you. Your child self, your son, your daughter, your mother, your employee, your employer. All of these different aspects will respond to circumstances in a different way. So you, that is the reason whenever I say be really, really aware, this is what I'm talking about when I say very, be very, very aware. If something is shutting you down, if you're not... Um, wanting to answer the question or um, it just feels better to not talk about it at all, then you know that you've got an issue that you need to resolve. Because there's a lot of belief systems and a lot of aspects of you that have been around for a very long, long time. Right? So you're going to have to sell them on this. You're going to have to explain to them why this is in their be best interest. It really, it really is the time for that. And when you go through and you explain all this to all of your different aspects and you resolve all those issues, that's the first really big part of 
uh, heading back to the one that you can possibly do, right? Because it is taking care of you. It is showing Gaia and anyone and everyone else that this is the way you are used to being treated. This is the way you will be treated. And if you're not, you intend to get away from that person, place, or thing in order to fix that problem. All right, does that make sense? Okie doke then. All right, well then let's stop it right there and move on to something else. Okay, sorry guys, the it's bright light. I put new light bulbs in that light fixture and whoa, they're a lot stronger than what I thought they would be. <laughs> Maybe a little bit overdid the light. Maybe, just a little bit. <laughs> All righty then, uh, that's it for me. Huge hugs, and I love you so much. Bye now.